So this video starts kind of abruptly. I'll set the scene for you. I saw a really cool t-shirt and then I had to scoot around to get a very expensive electronic device before uh, two other thrifters could get those two ahead of me. So there's no like, oh, walk up, put it in my hand. Uh, and the real reason I'm making this video is because at the end of the video, there's a really cool item that I didn't buy, but I want to talk about because it's just like, I think it's a unique thing. Whether how unique it is, is is to be known, and I hope you can help me out with that in the comments. Just tell me what you think it is. But, um, well, let, let's just start the video. This is the shirt I was talking about. It's a cool, I would say, early 2010s Venom Marvel t-shirt, not vintage. The vintage Venom shirts go for a lot of money, but this was a 2XL. I'm going to keep it. It was $3. Of course, I'm going to keep that for my personal collection. And this, okay, so this is what I had to grab and why I couldn't show it, because there was another thrifter sneaking along. And this is why. So it's the Panasonic DMR ES35 VS. This price right here, uh, two two seventy about. That's on the lower end. If you FBA these, or if you just wait as a merchant fulfilled seller, you can sell this for three hundred bucks pretty easily. They are heavy. They have a hard drive in them, and what they do is they'll take DVDs and VHS tapes, and you can take the the, the video as long as it's not copyrighted off of one and put it on the other. Um, they're still relatively like useful technology. Uh, and so these sell for about, like I said, 250 to 350 area on Amazon. Uh, and on eBay, you can get 150 to 200 usually. So I am always on the lookout for these. Uh, for 45 bucks in the store, that's an easy $200 profit. It turned on fine. It had the original manufacturer remote. And so when I find that kind of scenario, it almost always works. I have to do an actual test to make sure it does uh, transfer video. But like I said, when I find the original remote, Chances are, overwhelmingly, it's going to be in functioning condition. This is a Mad Cat's PS3 wireless keyboard for Rock Band. Uh, you can see right there, so Rock Band 3 specifically. Uh, if you have Rock Band 3 for PS3, you can get about 60 bucks for this. I didn't have a copy of it, and I didn't want to remember it, so even though it's in the cart, went back on the shelf. This is a Tumi Delta uh, first class bag. Toomey's a great brand. These bags, not so much. You can get like 10 bucks for them. So I thought those might be winners. They were not winners. This was, though, Xbox 360 with the uh, 60 gigabyte hard drive. I'm just looking at stuff right here, that Atari Activision game. Um, unfortunately, only those were about 10 bucks, so it didn't go there. This Sony boombox has busted, uh, busted screen. But the Xbox 360, two controllers. Uh, I was able to find all of the power kit to make sure it turns on. It did turn on a lot of times. These older Xbox 360s will have a red ring of death, meaning they're um, they get they overheat too easily. It's kind of an easy fix, but it's I don't want to have to fix if I don't have to. Uh, I found the cord, tested it, turns on, everything's green, everything's fine. So I bought that for thirty bucks. It sells for about one ten on Amazon. Next thing I saw was an Xbox 360 uh, Guitar Hero wireless guitar. You can see on the back it says that. It says him. I don't know why it says him, but it does. Uh, the whammy bar is fine. All the stuff is fine. I shook it. There's no uh, no wires shaking around, so I'm pretty sure it works. There was no dongle, uh, so a bit hard to sell on eBay, but I sell them on Amazon, and you can sell them for like 60 to 80 bucks on Amazon with no dongle. This is a chicken. Let's listen to it. Ooh! And that's the hilarious content you come here for. I couldn't find any discerning markers. Uh, I'd say about 10, 15 bucks on eBay. I passed on that. This new inbox puzzle I kept. These boogie boards, cool. Didn't buy them. The brand is Dem Daco. It's got multi-size pieces for the whole family. I kind of like that. This is a Thinkway, which is what Disney uses to make a lot of their toys. Wreck-It Ralph toy. Goes for about 15 bucks. They wanted three in the store. Ooh, that's on the edge, so I had to pass on this. Pretty cool uh, Thomas the Tank Engine piggy bank, but when I picked it up, no cork on the bottom, and no cork means no bueno. Time for the obligatory clothing rack scan. I'm looking for t-shirts, sweatshirts, anything cool. That is a not vintage Clemson shirt. I like the graphic, but it's just not going to go for enough money. This right here is the Russia 2009 to 2011 away jersey. How do I know that? I took a picture and I used Google Lens. Very helpful hack for resellers out there. I'm looking for more stuff, more flannels. Here's an L.L. Bean pajama shirt. 
didn't buy that. But I did find a, it's like green and yellow, and is that burgundy? Well, you'll see in a second, an LL Bean flannel. I own this in my size. What I paid online was 25 bucks for it. Uh, I paid six bucks in the store. They go for about 35 bucks on eBay. Medium isn't the best size, but because it's a popular colorway, I think it just might be worth buying. And now the reason I'm making the video, this wasn't like a crazy, I made a thousand dollars thrift haul, but this item right here, I had to share it with you. What do you think this is? It's a wooden house, obviously, but beyond that, there I'm so curious. I saw no maker marks. Uh, I believe that it is a Scandinavian like Viking longhouse, but it also might be like a Japanese dojo. I believe it's made from pine that's been stained. I would guess 70s maybe. Uh, it's kind of falling apart. They wanted about 30 bucks for it. So I said, you know what? This is not what I sell. Even though it's super cool, just not what I sell. And a lady right behind me bought it after I took my camera away from it. We talked about it for a while. And so I'm curious, what do you think this is? So here's an example of medieval Scandinavian architecture. And I think you can like see why I think there's some similarities. It isn't the same, obviously, but you can see a lot of similarities and it's very angular, it's very steep. All in all, I think this is super, super cool. So the way I would, what I would say that that thing was, was maybe folk art, but what it also might be is a kit from the seventies that you just bought and assembled yourself. I don't know. Here is what uh, like Japanese, a dojo might look like. I don't think it's as similar to this, but here's the kicker. Longhouses, a Viking longhouse, they're long. What I showed you was very short. It was like a shrine of sorts. It might just be something interesting. It might not be either. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking way too much into this. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm going to reuse this footage again because it's just so interesting and so cool to me. I want to know, do you think it's Scandinavian? Do you think it's Japanese? Do you think it's just someone made it themselves? Do you think it's handmade folk art because there are some imperfections, some bad cuts in the shingles? Or do you think it's a mass made kit? Uh, that is not worth hardly anything. If it was handmade, I would price this at about 200 bucks at an antique store or some place like that. I don't have an antique store. I sell things online exclusively, and this being so delicate, being so unique, someone else is gonna buy this. I don't wanna become a hoarder. I'll leave it on the shelf, but I do think it's awesome. I did document it for posterity. And again, comment below with what you think this is. I want to learn more about this folk art kind of stuff. You want to tell me your opinions. It's a match made in heaven. You know what else is a match made in heaven? You and this YouTube channel. Please subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you later. Oh.